The entire staff and every consultant of the Nevada Democratic Party has quit. This is after Democratic Socialists won every key leadership position of the party in a contested election on Saturday. NTD's Grace Coulter has the story. If you go onto the Nevada Democratic Party website, you will see that not a single staff member is listed. This is because every staff member quit after Democratic Socialists won all party leadership roles on Saturday. According to The Intercept, Judith Whitmer, the newly elected party chair, was notified by the party's executive director, Alana Mounts, that the entire party staff and all consultants were resigning. Staffers claimed that Whitmer was going to fire them anyway, but she denied those claims. Whitmer won with the backing of the local chapter of the Democratic Socialists of America and the support of the party's progressive wing aligned with Democratic Socialist Senator Bernie Sanders. Three other progressives backed by the DSA won the other four leadership positions, this effectively turning Nevada's Democratic Party into a socialist party. 2020 House candidate and progressive Jen Perelman responded to the news on Twitter saying, What the Democratic Socialists did to the Nevada Democratic Party, we're going to do the same here in Florida. Perelman had previously shared plans to replace what she calls establishment Democrats, starting at the local level all the way up to the White House. This is a plan shared by many far-left progressive and socialist activists. John Ralston, founder of the Nevada Independent, told CNN's Chris Saliza that those who don't support the newly elected Democratic Socialists in Nevada have vowed to set up a separate entity. This could mean two competing factions for the Democratic vote. Ralston says that with the 2022 elections just around the corner, Republicans could end up being the winners of this Nevada shakeup. Grace Coulter, NTD News.